Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the last video, finally, video number four of my Madam Glam swatches. So getting right into it, this one is called Paradise and it is a holographic, but it's just a very um, small micro shimmer to it. Uh, very silver, but it still does pick up that holographic just a bit in the right lighting. It's very pretty. Um, and I hope my voiceover quality is sounding a little better. I did some mic adjustment and I know that the quality isn't that great. I am working on looking into getting a new microphone. So hopefully this one sounds a little bit better for you. And I know that background noise can be a little bit distracting. So, all right. And this one is Stardust. It is a bit chunkier. So application on this one isn't quite as smooth but it's still a gorgeous polish. It does have a slight yellowish undertone to it. And this one here is Firework. Now this was what I was wearing on my nails in the first two swatch videos, I believe. And it is almost a rose gold and it's just absolutely beautiful. And it has a micro shimmer to it, almost on the metallic side. Not quite, but just kind of on the verge and I just I love it it's one of my favorites and this one here bombshell is the same kind of formula um, with that micro shimmer and it's also gorgeous but it's as you can see a lot more on the pink side and these are showing up very true to color so far let's escape the gray and let the colors rain Okay, up next is Love is in the Air, and this is a newer one that I just received, and it is, I think, the perfect Valentine pink. It's so pretty, and this is also similar to the last two in Formula. It's got a slight micro shimmer to it, almost um, on the metallic side, and just absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is an oldie of mine, Among Adult. I've had this one in my collection for quite a while. Um, it's kind of a mauve purple, and this one is, it's got a slight shimmer to it, not as much as the last two, just ver barely there, and also kind of on the metallic side. So you want to watch your brush strokes on this one, but it does self-level very well. And Vintage Pink, this one is gorgeous. Um, I don't have stylishly fashionable, I believe is the name of the color, but I think this one is very similar in color to it. Um, I am looking into getting that one in my collection too, and I'd love to compare the two, see how they look. But again, this is showing up pretty true to color and a very pretty, pretty, um, mauve pink color. And next we have Uptown Girl. This one is like a raspberry pink. So pretty. I've actually used this one two or three times already now for Valentine's Day. It's be, been a very popular pick among clients. And next we have Light Lilac. I've had this one also in my collection for quite a while. And it's just a very beautiful light lilac purple. And again, still showing up very true to color on camera. I do have a few towards the end here that give me a little bit of trouble, but um, I'll try to do my best to describe them for you. And next we have Marvelous. Uh, a little bit deeper than Among Adult, but very similar in formula and shade, um, but just a little bit darker. And the oh so popular perplexed I know this went out of stock when I believe Sarah R did a video and she did a set of nails and then made these matte and this color like flew off the shelves it was just gone for the longest time and it builds up perfectly in two coats it looked a little sheer in the first coat but in two coats it's perfect and it is one of the prettiest purples I've ever seen definitely a favorite purple 
and next is are you indigo and this is as close to a neon purple as i have it's just super bright um, definitely not showing up quite as bright on camera as it is in real life none of my neon colors quite do but this is a super bright purple very like in your face purple <laughs> it's so pretty and omg pink um, is also a neon pink it is the brightest pink it's so pretty again not showing up quite as bright on camera as it is in real life and this color seriously glows in the black light so good um, it glows under my uh, UV lamp so <laughs> two coats and it is pretty much perfect and so hot is also very bright in neon color it's more of a coral um, kind of a pinky coral and extremely bright definitely not showing up as bright as it is in real life as it is on camera because it is so bright it's one of my absolute favorite summer colors that I have um, and then the next one is very similar this one's called pajama party also kind of a corally bright pink slightly darker than the last one these two are so similar in color I have swatched these before I'll link a video of where I swatched these together they're so similar in color that I don't think you would need to buy both of them um, you could just pick one and they're just so close that I don't think you can really tell the difference and this one is color me corally and this one is not quite as neon as the last two just a really nice pretty coral So 2016, um, I got this one close to when it came out, I believe, and it's just a really pretty deep pink with a lot of micro shimmers in it. Very, very pretty color. Next up is Too Busy to Care. Now this first coat looks a little off for some reason. It looks really pinky to me um, on screen here, but um, in real life, this is the absolute most perfect red. It's just true, I don't know, I would call it Santa red, Christmas red. It's just the perfect like maybe candy apple red. Um, it's not too orangey like some reds can be and it's not too pink. It's just the perfect red. I really love that one and LA style this one is just a little bit deeper in real life than it's showing up on camera and I would describe this one as maroon it's straight up maroon and Pharaoh oh I love this gold gold polish oh my gosh okay so this is a metallic looking one and you want to be careful with the brush strokes on this one um, but in two coats fully opaque and it's got that slight shimmer to it as well absolutely stunning polish I love this one and screaming summer this is a bright neon orange the camera can definitely not pick up how bright this one is um, and I would say this is another one that needs underwear um, if you put like a white base coat down this is really gonna pop a lot more it's not quite a jelly polish but it's almost that consistency it's a little bit sheer so white underwear under that one and it really pops good um, and then this one is also a bright neon neon uh, green and this one is a lot more opaque than the orange one so I don't think this one really needs the underwear like the other one does, but you could put it under there anyways and it might help it pop just a little bit more. And Caribbean Sea. Um, I've also swatched this one and the next one coming up in a previous video and it's coming off very true to color on camera and it's just a nice tealy turquoisey, but um, a little bit more on the pastel side just absolutely stunning color one of my favorites for sure um, I don't have too many blues I don't tend to gravitate towards blues or greens but 
it's definitely a good one and then boat trip in the same color family uh, definitely more on the turquoise side and a bit deeper and these two together look really beautiful And this one, better than a sapphire. I've had this one for quite a while too. It's a beautiful sparkly blue, a bit sheer on the first coat and even still yet yeah, a bit sheer on the second coat. Um, maybe this one needs about three coats to be fully opaque, but it's a very sparkly, gorgeous blue. And this one is called What a Night. It's very similar to the last one and it's got a ton of sparkle in it as well. This one is just a bit deeper and is fully opaque in two coats. Okay, and this one is called Behind the Scenes. This is the I say I would say the perfect um, navy blue it's dark really nice deep dark blue but it's not so dark on that second coat that it looks black and you can't tell it's blue you can definitely still tell it is a blue and it is really beautiful and I believe that is it guys that is all of my Madame Glams I swatched everything except for the two like cracked marble ones um, I wasn't quite sure how to swatch those if I should do it on clear stick or over something else but those are the only other two in my collection so that is everything and it took me about three weeks to finish this up between swatching labeling filming and getting it all edited and doing it all in between work so I hope you guys enjoy these videos and these were helpful for you and yeah thank you so much for watching please leave any questions or comments in the comment section below and I will see you next time bye